Hey there YouTube, uh, this is Steve OC, I'm doing another one of my little little tutorial videos. I'm just going to talk about really uh, running an application um, as a high priority, uh, writing a little batch file and how to do that. Um, I've noticed on the Verdun forum that a few people report some frame drops um, kind of like a, a lag every now and again so I thought I'd put this together um, I did suggest it in one or two threads so I just thought I'd put something together in a, in a tutorial video just to try and help those people get through it um, I'm not 100% sure whether it will or won't work but Boolean's Verdun doesn't really use much more than one core only two at most um, it's just going to make sure that you that Verdun does get the priority it does get the amount of CPU power that we need so what we're going to do is we can rather than just running for done through steam um, rather than just grabbing it in hitting for done hit and play all that's going to do is just play it at a standard level what we need to do is give Verdun some priority so the way we're going to do this firstly is you're going to open up your notepad application um, here's one I've already made um, what I will do I will make sure I copy that down into the description for you so that you can see it uh, but anyway, to, just to uh, to get our batch file going, um, we're going to hit start. That's the that's the main command that you're going to need. Um, obviously, we're going to start Verdun as a program application executable, whatever. So start is the first one. Uh, the next part we're going to put in in quote marks. Um, this is just the name of your batch file. Um, obviously, I've called it Verdun. Um, you can use this for, for any other game you want really um, obviously for this one it is going to be just for Verdun because that's what I'm concentrating on um, this is the important bit, this is your priority um, when we're looking at priorities and, and the way that things run we need to know whereabouts they're going to be handled by by Windows normally Windows is pretty good at working its own way out um, but sometimes it does need a bit of a helping hand. These priorities are exactly the same as what you will see in processors. So, for example, um, Team Viewer, I've got running on my PC. Go into my priorities. These are your priorities real time, high, above normal, normal, below normal, and low. Normally, I'd say high is going to be enough. Uh, real time can be a bit intensive on the CPU sometimes if you have a lower spec system it may not be worth using real time um, high is about the most I've ever used so I'd probably start with that and if you find that it helps you but you're still lagging a little bit I probably wouldn't say go real time because you're just going to be dragging dragging resource off something else so they're your priority levels anyway um, for the purpose of this we're just going to use high uh, quotation mark because you're going to now put the path in of where the done is. Um, in my case, this is on my H column backslash. If I go into my explorer, where I'm handily already there, this is my game file. Uh, this is nestled right within my Steam applications. Um, what I'm going to do is, if you just left click in the explorer bar, it gives you the full pathway. Copy that out. We'll minimise that down again and then we'll paste it in. Now you will notice that's coming a little bit short. That's because we've only got to this folder. What we want to do is tell it to run the done as well. So what we'll do is we'll just put another backslash and the done. Okay. So that's the actual kind of writing code bit written. What we're going to do now is save that. So file save as. Now what I normally do with my batch files is I'll drop them into my documents. Normally I'll create a folder so let's just do that. Uh, we'll put it in documents. That's. And it's Verdun and it's running in high so I'll call it Verdun High. Now the important thing you do is change this to all files and we're going to end that with dot bat and save. 
So now we have the .bat file saved out. Um, we can go ahead and use that if we want to. What we'll do now is we'll close that. We'll go into our documents, into our bats. And we've done highs there, which we can run as a batch file. Which is great, but the problem with that is it's a bit ugly and you've got to go through a folder tree to get to it. So what we're going to do, we're going to be a little bit snazzy. Um, and we're, we're actually going to make it look pretty. So taking this on one step, we're going to right click and send to our desktop, creating a shortcut. Which is great, um, but it looks ugly. So what we're now going to do, the pathway that we put in our batch file, we're going to pull that back up. Uh, we can hit edit on here and copy that. Of that. Minimize that off. So here is your icon. Very ugly. We're going to right click that, go into properties, change the icon. Okay, we know that there are no uh, icons there because we've just created this bat file. So you get the basic Windows icons. We're going to go hit browse. We're going to go here paste it in and hit enter. Now it's already there because I've made one prior to doing this just so I can make sure I've got everything down so I can talk this through fairly uh, seamlessly. Um, so in this case we're going to click on the Verdun application and hit open. It's looking for icon files and now it's pulled up the icon file. So that's the Verdun. So we're going to hit OK and we're going to hit apply. OK. So now my icon has changed to the Verdun icon, which is great. Um, one last thing I'm going to do with this really is I'm going to rename it because Verdun High hyphen shortcut doesn't look good. So Verdun by Steve O C. Well, we can spell by correctly. Obviously, you don't have to do that. Um, I think if it was me, I'd probably just call it Verdun. So there we have it, we're done as an icon on your desktop. Um, all that's left to do now uh, is double click it. This will run the application, the game in high priority mode and hopefully that will address any FPS drops uh, that you're having. Um, I'd love to know if and how well it works for you so please make sure you leave a comment. Um, thank you for watching and uh, as before I'll make sure that we've got links in the description for the actual batch file and uh, also to the forum if you're not aware that there is a forum for, for done because it's quite a, quite a good community so um, just as a proof that this does work we'll hit double click on there we just saw that run and uh, here we go Verdun is running so uh, thank you very much and uh, yeah I'm off to uh, play some Verdun